our tale of the day for this strawweight fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Luana Pinheiro! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, John! Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Quite early round action here, and let us see what Zhang Wei Li has to offer. Many believe she is the most powerful strawweight on the roster, and past opponents have certainly felt that pressure and power. We'll see if she can get the hands going early here tonight. Oh, high level stuff there. She blocks the strike and counters with a jab of her own. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with Vita. Nicely done. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. One two punch by the Rock Pinheiro. Have you seen anything like it? About a minute into the fight, these women are brawling. They are brawling. Somebody's going to go down. I mean, somebody has to go to sleep. This is impossible to pace to keep. So a lot of strikes have landed here, and she has some swelling now to prove. Well, she's landed that jab, the right hand, she can't miss. She cannot miss. And right now, while the swelling has started, it's not critical. She needs to make sure she's better defensively so that we don't get to that point. She got that single collar time. Well, that knee strike attempt blocked by Sean Whaley. She gets to her spot the tie clinch, and then she starts to let the knees fly. That punch landed very good. Pinero gets the single leg takedown. She's trying to pass here, gets denied. Got denied because she's so aware, so on top of the grappling transitions. And now she's in mouth. Big ground and pound. Setting up for a submission now. Oh, it's getting deep. Oh, how good is that as she gets out? She is so aware on the ground, and she escapes a deep submission attempt. Let's get out of that position. Let's go. Create space. Side control now. Nice job by her there, the bottom fighter continuing to slip these ground and pound offerings. Oh, she's in trouble, dude. Oh, really good strikes by her here in top position. Ground strikes really adding up for her now. Oh, how good is her ground and pound? That one actually opened her up. Jong's back inside control. All right, so the ground and pound strikes continue to land. She's not staying busy for the sake of it. She is doling out damage. She's landing a lot of punishing ground and pound. And this is going to really zap her opponent as they get back to the feet. Oh, great reversal to top position by Panera. High-level grappling there as she reverses position on the ground. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Luana Pinheiro. Couple hammer fists there for good measure. Shang's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. And there you go, again, half guard. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Sean Whaley. She has no answer, so continue to... Setting up a sub here. 
It's, it's tight. Wow, I thought she might succumb she gets out. I thought she was going to sleep. I thought it was over. Well, submission offense is somewhat of a lost art in modern-day MMA, but she knows what she's doing, and yet the defensive fighter continues to thwart it. Especially off your back. She's so good off of her back that she's giving herself a chance to get these submissions. But her opponent is so gifted defensively. She's so responsible. She's doing a great job of just staying safe every time her opponent tries to submit. Right. Round two is next. So there's the end of the round. And in terms of offensive wrestling execution, she had it all going there. Yeah, she had it all working. She did everything she wanted to do. She was racing to position. Once she got to a leg, she didn't pause. She didn't stop. She went right to the finishes that she Ready needed fight. in order to get Ready. the fight to the ground. I mean, that was a great display of offensive wrestling. All right, so here we go with our next round. And how about her ground and pound in the previous round in terms of accuracy and efficiency? She had it all. Yes, and I mean, you just say all the key words. She's not wasting her shots by just punch, 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 punch. Everything needs to be on the ball. She's got to keep pressing if she wants to finish the fight. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. All right, so some adversity for her here. Looks like she has been opened up around that eye. Anything worth having will not be easy. But she's got to protect that cut because it will get worse if she continues to get hit on. Good combination there by Jean. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success with the striking and both seem damaged. It's always fun when you get a fight like this, where you see the blood on both sides, where you see the swelling on both sides, where you see the concern from both fighters recognizing and wow, I've got my equal in front of me. Let's see who can push through and get the victory. Big punch from the clinch. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is the takedown deep? That was a slick transition. Wayne gets up and is back on her feet. Very nice. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Lands a quick jab. Just over three minutes to go now. All right, so she told us in the fighter meeting the body shots were going to be key, and they certainly have been. She invested early, and now you're starting to see some damage on the other side. Yeah, she's doing a great job of following the game plan. She spoke to us in the fighter meeting about going to the body, about investing, not worrying about seeing the outcome right away. And it's starting to show now as this fight gets long. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Well, we're not close to a stoppage, but every time that area in the eye gets hit, it's getting bloodier by the minute. Yeah, it gets bloodier by the minute, and you start to worry because you can only take these types of shots for so long before it gets to a point where you're just in very, very big danger. Oh, how good is she with her kicks as she goes to the inside of that leg there? She's good at every single kicking technique, and this is just another one she's good on this play. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have to control the situation. Oh! She's bothering bad, J.A. Oh, my goodness. Ah, she's unable to connect with the left hook. Straight punch, and now her opponent's firmly on the ropes. But she can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Well, she said in these situations she had to protect her head, and defensively she has done an outstanding. Guillotine jump. Oh, 
Oh, she's going hard in the paint for the finish now. Oh, great submission defense. Chong's pass attempt denied. That's a powerful strike from bottom position. Man, she's got it all going with the hands, with the feet tonight, and that cut is really becoming a factor now as this fight continues. Yeah, she, she's got to move, Jay. She's got to get on her bicycle. She's got to get to the middle of the round so that the cut man can get to work. Because the more she's in there, the more she tries to fight face first, the more that cut is going to open up. She's got to get moving. Pinero's in half court. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. There she goes again, another submission attempt here. She keeps going to the well. Darts choke around the neck, she might get it. But the only way to make sure that she does is to take her time. Start to feed her up on her hips and try to lock in the leg. Work. 15 seconds. Level stuff here with the ground and pound by Luana Pinheiro. Good job by her here to land some strikes from top position. Well, she's staying busy, continuing to land ground strikes. There's another one. All right, so there's the horn indicating the end of the round. We will keep an eye on this cut. You see the cut man racing in there. Cut, it looks like it's on the bridge of the nose. He'll try to shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for her here moving forward. Looks like he'll close it up now. Well, I'm not sure if the swelling is just cosmetic. She might be severely injured. Let's look back at some replays from that round. Well, when you take shots that clean, you run the risk of being injured and injured badly. She was not good defensively, and ultimately, she's the one that's paying for it. She has got to change something if she wants to stay in this fight. Ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. just continuing to punish her opponent's midsection here in this round, just like she did in the previous round. Takedown defense holds up. And that one certainly found the target. She closes the distance and gets single collar. Real quick leg kick. More of the same, she lands again, and the swelling continues to increase on her opponent. Man, she's so fast. She's so good at targeting certain areas of her opponent's head, and now you see that, st that swelling starting to advance. Front kick to the body by Pinheiro. She's so fast, so straight, everything. Just perfect. Everything perfect. Every strike, every kick, every punch. Everything's just perfect. All right, so she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. As efficient as any striker in the division, this is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Big land there. Arrow going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Hook, that'll land. All right, so she attacks the body yet again, and now you really see those bruises, Daniel, starting to accumulate. Well, she did everything to do that, and she was able to stay the course. Even when something got blocked, even if something got defended, she never changed the way that she attacked. It's beautiful to watch a person so rooted in the game plan and that game plan paying dividends. Well, not sure if there's an injury or something, but here we are late in this fight, and she absolutely needs a finish, or she's not going to win this fight. Well, she needs a finish. She's taking a beating. I mean, she's a key. She's a star. She sees a fighter that has got the best strike. She's a fighter there, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands. <laughs> Well, it looked like we were going to get a finish. She had her rocked pretty good, but she wasn't able to close the show. She wasn't able to find the kill shot. She hurt her very badly. She was not able to find the kill shot. Man, high volume of 
strikes in this round as she continues to land and pour it on. It's amazing that she has been able to make. Watch armbar here. Oh, she's got the arm. She's got it isolated, John. Oh, somehow she gets out. It was locked in. She somehow survived. Oh, good ground and pound here. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Pinheiro. Ninety seconds to go to decide this one. Oh! It's a well, that's where he's getting out of control. Referee calls in the ringside position. This could be the end of the fight, DC. It could be, because she's really struggling with the swelling. Her eyes are all beat up, and it's really taking a toll on how she's competing. Doctor pulls the referee aside. It looks as though the fight at least is going to continue for now. It's going to continue for right now, but she has got to get going. She will not have much time in this fight because it's fight. only going to get worse. All right, so the referee is going to get the action back underway. On, she didn't even want the doctor to make his way into the octagon. He has since left, and she's happy to get a chance right to fight away. on. Right away, John. She's, no, 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 I want to fight. I'm happy she's getting that opportunity. Now, you got to take advantage of this chance. You got to take advantage of the chance to go out there and try to right what you think would be wrong if the fight got stopped. While the crowd's starting to react every time she eats another body. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent for finishing her. <laughs> oh, big left. Overhand to the head is true. Great technique there. Oh, beautifully done there. She lands another strike to the body. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Going to the sidekick. She got that single collar tie. Oh, that's a nice scramble by her there. Immediately gets the underhook. Battling for hooks. Stop, stop, stop. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, John Magnum Wayley! All right, so she finally cracks a smile there. She gets her hand raised by unanimous decision, and certainly at times looked like maybe the finish would materialize. It didn't. Nonetheless, she gets a W, and that's really all that matters at the end of the day. If you were waiting for that smile, it wasn't going to happen until the fight was over. Now she can relax a little bit as she wins a unanimous decision. I thought that this was one of her best performances to date.